Hey everybody, welcome back to Nems Plays EU4. I'm your host, Nems Burkru Studios. And today, we're going Italian. I want to play Milan. I don't think I have ever played Milan. For those of you who've been with the channel for a while, you will know that we did do a Lucka multiplayer with Bob. Uh, I was Lucka, Bob was Mantua. We took over lots of, uh, of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do Milan. And uh, yeah. Let's do it. Iron Man. Mm, we'll call it the Milan game. All right. Uh, Milanese ideas are somewhat interesting. Um, it's a lot of technology stuff. Um, I think the very first idea is... Uh, yeah, idea costs minus 10%, which is kind of cool uh, for that, that early in the game. And then, um, in addition to that, you also get a just general tech cost, uh, minus 5%, um, a little bit further down the tree. Uh, so, taking a look at the rest of them, uh, yearly prestige plus one, eh. Development cost minus 10, not bad. Uh, mercenary maintenance minus 25%, that's pretty decent. Uh, the tech cost, global trade power is yum. Stability cost modifier is also not terrible. Plus 10% infantry combat ability, which is good. And uh, plus one um, Diplo relations. And then once we finish all the ideas, we get a plus 20% to manpower. Taking a look at some of the other basics here. Let's take a look at a ruler. Duke Filippo Maria the first Visconti. A 1-2-2. Two, two. Trade efficiency minus 10%. Monthly war exhaustion goes down. Uh, apparently we're going to get another trait here right away. Uh, the consort is a 33-year-old who has trade efficiency plus 10%. Uh, monetarily, we're doing okay with all of our stuff up. We are at 219. That's not terrible. Uh, missions. Uh, improve relations with Savoy. Yeah, I'm trying to think from an, uh, where we're going to expand perspective what we're going to do. There's always Genoa. There's Lucca, Ferrara, Mantua. So let's do this. Let's uh, rival back Ferrara. And rival back Mantua. And uh, who's our other? Uh, Switzerland. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm okay with that. All right. In the meantime, um, I guess we will go ahead and do this uh, first. Uh, Diplo relations uh, or um, uh, reputation is good to have to start things off. And then let's see. What are we? Four, five, five. Hmm. Trying to see if there's anybody that we really need. I'll just go military since there's not. All right. And then our force limit with the advisor is 17. We'll worry about that in a minute. We'll go ahead and let time start ticking by. And um, we'll improve with who else? Um, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Who do we want? Oh, great. Now our construction cost just went up. Who might want to be our friend? Uh, we'll probably improve relations with France. That wouldn't be bad. Not likely, but it wouldn't be bad. Um, probably not Venice. All right. And then I think Ferrara is allied to Austria, so that's going to be a problem. We'll probably have to go after Mantua right away. Because uh, chances of them doing a trade league pretty quick are are there so let's do some spy networking in mantua mantua is a pretty nice province it's a 22 dev province that is uh pretty strong pretty strong uh in the meantime uh we'll go ahead and mothball the fort and we will take our uh troop maintenance down just get a little bit of money shadow empire yeah basically if uh austria doesn't get us all in line it all of italy in line by uh uh, by 1490, we will have the option to leave the Empire. And if we don't, uh, we get really bad modifiers. Um, it's not pretty. So, Florence is buddies with Savoy. So that might not be a bad early game move to buddy up with them. They won't take it right now. They will take that, though. Let's um, 
Let's do a royal marriage with Savoy. And then if they'll take the alliance, which they will, then we should have our mission and also uh, an ally, which will be good. Who else are you allied to? France, Provence, Austria, and Flor Man, you... Tch. Savoy, you just don't mess around. All right, well, I don't want to be your enemy because, geez. We got our mission done. Uh, Florence's opinion of Milan at least 100. Um, yeah, we're going to do that, actually, because uh, why not? We need friends. France, I don't suppose you're willing to marry. Oh, you are. Okay, well, let's come back. No. Come back from here first. No, well, hold on. They're, no, that's Provence. They will take the marriage, though. Which I'm fine with. And then we'll, we, we will need to improve some more there. And that's fine. So we'll improve there. Mantua, did you get allies yet? No, but you are building a spy network on me. That's fair. I'm doing the same thing to you. All right. <laughs> How much are we going to have to move these guys? A fair amount. 21. Uh, mostly because we have a weak army and some other stuff. Which actually may work on right now. Do that and see if we can maintain that. Get up to speed four for a hot minute. All right. So now we're going to fabricate our claim. And we are going to see how our army maintenance does. Mm -hmm. It's going to be close. That cav was a bit much. All right. Do we have any generals? No. Could make my ruler general. Three shock. That's not bad. Three, two, one. That's not a bad uh, first ruler roll at all, honestly. I'm perfectly happy with that. All right. So now I'm going to pull him back and uh, we're going to declare war. As soon as the... Uh, Morale is high enough. Where are we at? 257. 210 out of 257. Alright, so next month. Alright. Let's declare war. We're not going to call our allies in. We're going to just take Mantua. And here we go. Can we catch them? No, we cannot. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me all your monarch points. Yes, come into me. All right, that was fun. Now we will siege. Though I do need... Hold on. There we go. Now we wait. Meanwhile, um, yeah, we're still twenty off. They don't like our naval strength because, you know, we don't have a coastal province. Switzerland. You just have Ravensburg, eh? Alright, well, let's start improving with France, just in case. Mm -hmm. You would not take it just because of the war, though. Okay. So once we get out of the war, we could ally with Florence, and that would help us defensively, at least. Which wouldn't be a bad thing right now. We have claims on Mantua. Yes, I know. I'm at war for it. Thank you. The nice part is we're actually still making a little bit of money. 
I'm going to go ahead and mothball that fort because there's nothing to worry about. All right. This really just reduces our garrison. Uh, menace truce has ended. That means they can declare war on us. Who's all in that trade league? Sienna and the Knights. So Sienna is right there. Okay. Just about done with Mantua. <laughs> Alright, they went with the uh, Yellen. That means Poland Commonwealth thing is going on. Not uncommon at this stage of the game. I am going to uh, put some stress on my desire for friends once I take uh, this province. And the Emperor will probably not be pleased with me. So, pull that back. I made royal marriage with him anyway. Let's do have that extra Diplo slot. Good to have uh, royal ties to the, to the Habsburgs. All right, so in fact, we'll just all go there. Um, we are going to sue for peace. We want all your stuff and all your money. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. It's gonna piss off a lot of people, uh, but it is what it is. All right, we can't even core the damn thing. Uh, and we just got rid of one of our rivals. So, that's a thing. You know who are you allied to? Uh, Austria, of course. Um, I'm kind of tempted to rival Venice. Oh, uh, Austria's rivaled France. Venice, who are your rivals? Hungary, Aragon, and Savoy. Hmm, wouldn't be bad to have Hungary as an ally. Mm, yeah, let's rival Venice, because we're going to want their land anyway at some point. And they've rivaled us. Well, they haven't rivaled us, but... So now Hungary should like us a little better. Alright, and we can almost core Mantua. We are now losing money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is there a fort here? Yeah, that's partially why. With my army standing on it, I really don't need to uh, worry about the fort. <laughs> my daughter is stomping around upstairs. I'm sure you can hear that. All right. So, what do we want to do next? I would say... Hmm... I mean, we can't do anything right away because that is pretty severe. I mean, we took a pretty heavy development province, so we're really just going to have to kind of work on uh, diplomacy. And, um, in fact, let's get this alliance. All right, we now have two allies. We could reclaim Brescia and get to the sea through Verona. Is that Verona? Where's Verona? Oh, yeah. You really, really, really want me to go to war with uh, with those guys, eh? Um. Oh, what? Oh, they're allied to Ferrara. That's right. That's a thing. All right, we'll just work on France. We can pull back from uh, Florence. All right, so if we look at our relationships, we are we are married to Austria, which is good. We we want that tie there. Um, we've got royal marriages with France. We've got two alliances: Savoy and Florence. Who hates you? Milan, Savoy, and Provence. Uh, boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, 
Who else might hate Switzerland? Burgundy is likely a, yeah, they're rival to both France and Austria. Don't necessarily want to go down that route. Um, yeah, I'll just lose the 30 ducats. Genoa doesn't like us. Hmm. Hmm. Bohemia is not currently interested, but they're not far. They are, though. Hungary is not insanely far. Naples, are you independent right now? Uh, no, you're in a PU under Aragon. Aragon is rivaled by France, so that would be a problem with that. Oh, surrender of Maine. That happened. Uh, I would love to take on Florence or Venice, but I just, I don't know. Ferrara and Siena aren't that big of a deal. The Knights, they've got a couple of vassals. I think if Savoy and Ferrara had enough favors, we could do that. For now, I'm just going to do the prestige thing. Because I can't take the land right now anyway. Alright, we are just barely losing money. I could delete the fort in Mantua, but I kind of hate to do that. Because uh, from, from a uh, Venice defense perspective, it's pretty good. Ah, here we go. Black news indeed. We've died. There's a new duke. A 310. Alright. The city of Milan was thrown into confusion by the sudden death of the duke without a respected adult heir. Influential citizens believed that the old republic could be restored. Learned bodies such as the College of Jurisprudence in Pavia painted the days of the old republic as a golden age. The merchants viewing the prosperity of Republican Venice were behind the idea. A republic was declared, the claimants to the throne driven out of the city. The new republic was named the Golden Ambrosian Republic, named after the 4th century Bishop of Milan. So, we can change to an Ambrosian Republic, or we can piss ourselves off. I'm kind of tempted to just go with this, because I've not done this before. So we get plus 10% national tax, plus 5% morale, um, Savoy won't like us as much, but, man, I, I feel like this is still something we can do. I'm doing it. All right. So do we want to keep Galizio the third? Uh, and lose 10 Republican tradition, which we don't have much of. Or do we want to go one of these other directions? Uh, I mean, he'd be a 4-1, a 4-2-1. Or I can just get a 141 or a 114. Hmm. I'm going to go with a bureaucrat candidate for now. Because I think we're going to need a few elections where we, uh, you know, where we don't do anything too crazy. All right. Unfortunately, my stability is now low. And my, my first ruler has crap trait. Foreign spy detection, minus 20%. Oh, isn't that wonderful? All right, so let's take a look at our government. We are now an Ambrosian Republic. Mm -hmm. I do like the increase in morale. That's good. We're only at 18 prestige, though. That's not super impressive. All right, well, I think that's a good stopping point here. We'll go ahead and put a cut in this episode. If you guys are liking the Milan playthrough, please leave a like down below. More importantly, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I've been Nems. Have a great one.